Alright, what's going on guys? Back at you guys again with some uh, more dark content. So uh, today I'm trying to pick up a radiator for it because uh, the stock radiator that I had, is, well it's not stock, but the radiator that I have uh, doesn't fit on there. So um, on my way up to Champion Radiators, uh, see what they got in inventory. Honestly, I don't even know if they can sell me a radiator because I've never been there. Uh, some radiator places told me I have to have like a, a dealer or some shit like that um, sell me the radiator. But uh, I think I should be fine. See what they got. Uh, hopefully I can grab a little bit bigger, or not bigger, but a little bit of wider radiator for the dart. And uh, hopefully they got some fans or something, or I can use the fan that I have. That'd be pretty nice. So uh, I'm gonna uh, update this thing once I get there. And uh, yeah, Just stay tuned. Champion radiators are champion cooling systems. This place is fucking huge. Let's see if they can get me squared away though. No problem, thank you. I, I appreciate the help, Like, I feel like no one else would have done this. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay, no worries. <laughs> That's what we're here for, you know? Yeah. I just felt bad because you were there. Yeah. Thought I was all cool and shit, gonna walk right in and walk out. <laughs> it's alright. Um, we've had so many people call us saying, Oh, I'm at your building. The door is locked. I'm like, uh, sorry, we're still closed. <laughs> is this their so Well, guys, uh, that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. Um, here now they're closed on the inside so couldn't really have anyone help me um, had a nice lady over the phone help me out we ended up going with like a Chevelle radiator with both the ports on the passenger side because that's the issue that I was having so I'm gonna go to will car right now I got fans and a shroud and hopefully it fits I'm gonna get back home and test fit it if not then I guess I'll be bringing the radiator back and finding something that fits if not Worst case scenario, I'll have to go custom. No rush on this build really anymore. Uh, didn't make it to LS Fest, so I'm just taking my time with it. So, we'll see if this fits. This fits. If not, we'll be like four or five weeks out for a custom one. Show you guys the goods. Uh, I'll do a complete unboxing once I get home. Um, I think these are the fans. Got the shroud right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some cutting because I don't know how this gonna fit the dart. Wow, this thing looks fucking fire. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. Oh my god. Yeah, so our radiator fits in there. Uh, I gotta do a little bit of modifications on the bottom just to get it to sit a little lower. Uh, that was expected. Ports on this side, how I want it, and then I got that port on the bottom side. But uh, I'm gonna probably mess with this a little bit tomorrow uh, the fans will probably sit on the outside right here and uh, should be good to go okay so uh, back out here on the dart uh, I'm about to figure out exactly what to cut just so I can get this radiator sitting in perfect uh, I don't really have an idea of what I want to do yet but I think I kind of want to cut a little bit of this inner part of it here in here just so I can get it to sit more flush and then uh, I gotta cut the bottom for sure just so I can get it to sit a little bit lower because it's a little high right here and I think if once I put my hood back on it's gonna touch uh, I'm gonna run no hood for a little bit and get rid of this alternator and get rid of that intake but um yes just grinding away on this figuring out exactly what I want to cut because uh, the spacing is a little bit off. But I love this radiator, it's really clean.
so what I did here was I trimmed out the sides uh, test fitted the radiator it fits good so now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this bottom section out just cut right here and pretty much drop it about an inch and a half lower just so it clears the hood I'm gonna do that on both sides so chop there and then I'm gonna re-weld a bracket that's a little bit lower okay so I got it sitting where I want it right under the hood line so yeah what I did down here was turn this music down a little bit what I did was I just cut that uh, lower support off and then what I'm gonna do is just re-weld uh, a new bracket on the bottom right there uh, I don't think that's too low uh, just because uh, the car is jacked up and um, the subframe's down here so should be good to go here just gotta do some welding it should be solid all right so i got the new support welded in uh, i just used the, the old piece and a couple scrap pieces i had laying around and uh, that's where he's gonna lay got a couple tacks in there just gotta fully weld it up right now you can see right there it's tacked and uh it's sitting right where i want it to sit looking good okay so I got the bottom of the radiator squared away uh, about to throw on the fans I'm not sure if I showed these but uh, I have two of these that I'm gonna put on the front uh, we're gonna use the little zip ties that it came with and tie them on there and uh, I got a lower radiator hose doesn't really look the greatest but it's not kink so it'll work now I uh, got an upper hose that I might have to trim to fit right there and then I'm gonna make uh, a bracket to hold this in place and yeah so I'm gonna throw these fans on and then I'll be done with the radiator today okay so the fans came with these little zip ties all this stuff never really used these but I'm guessing we go straight through the fan radiator and then hook through. We'll see. I'm guessing we go through here. Like that. And then the back side. Okay, so I guess that goes like that. That goes through it, and then on the back side is a little retainer. So, got uh, I think six more of those to go, and I'll have the fans on. I got another fan for this side, so we'll see. All right, all right, so fans are hooked up good. Got a little tester here with the battery, a little alligator clip that on there right now as it's hooked up it's pulling air through I don't know how efficient that is um, I don't know if I can uh, reverse these and it might push the other way I don't know if that's healthy for the fans or not but I'll show you guys how it's pulling through Yeah, so it's bringing some good air through so we'll see if that's good enough if not then i gotta just slip them in here on this side i didn't want to put them in because i wanted some room but we'll see or maybe i can flip uh positive and negative and that might work i don't know if that's good but fans are installed just gotta get this upper radiator hose and uh we'll be get done with the cooling system 
finish the fuel system fuel system's done and uh next is still just a little bit of wiring on the holly and uh this exhaust i gotta get i gotta pretty much get these headers down there somewhere because uh, it's a tight little fit down there with all the steering and the transmission and stuff but yeah that's gonna be it for it for today all right guys so uh I got a first startup, didn't get it on video, but uh, I'm about to get the second startup right now. Um, had a little fuel leak up here and uh, started right up. Had some issues yesterday. Uh, on the Holly, it was telling me the crank sensor was bad, I guess, and I, I added a ground here. I wasn't getting spark. I should have got that on video, but here goes the second start. still on there. Okay, that's good. Okay, the fuel pump primed. The tune's still there. So what I'll have to do is a TPS auto set real quick. Okay. Do the TPS auto set. Go up there a little bit. Successful. All right, here we go for the fire up. Get the motor. Oh. Second startup, just open headers. Still got to put the gaskets in, but motor runs. Sounds good. Do the little button up stuff with it and then try to get this bad boy on the road all right so that's it it starts up uh, i'm gonna do some buttoning up on the fuel system uh, i had a leak i tighten that up and um i need to finish the exhaust put the gaskets in both sides and then pretty much get it going towards the back and what i'm working on right now is uh, i had a little leak here can see from this fitting so I'm tightening that up and then put the pump right where it's supposed to be uh, get these wires all cleaned up and then what I'm gonna get to is back here um, I got the fuel pump on a relay I just have everything kind of taped and just sitting there so I'm gonna get this all secure uh, solder all the wires and zip tie everything get everything looking clean it's a mess back here i got everything apart but super stoked car starts now i have to button up all that stuff down there and get it all cleaned up i have everything apart because i was trying to troubleshoot my spark issue i, I wasn't recording that but should have so well, yeah what i did was i added this ground here to the head to the chassis and then i changed that cam sensor down there but on the holly everything was green except for one one light i had light number six it was blue and it was telling me something was up with the uh crank sensor so i changed that out i don't know if that was the issue for the no spark or if it was the ground i'm thinking it was the ground because usually that would be like a, a common issue 